we're at the last day of what has been a really quite intensive period of working with our community in the community uh, panel process, which is the final stage of a whole range of community engagement we've done, um, which has been really exciting in um, hearing from our community the really important things they'd like to have our, our community consider in regards to our goals for 2035. So what is our overarching vision for 2035? What are our strategic priorities um, that will get us and help us to achieve that vision? And then finally, a role in defining our cultural identity as a city, as this is something that came out really strongly um, in the feedback in those earlier phases. Uh, our group particularly, we've tried to identify the culture of Nat Gambia, who is a Mount Gambier person, and we're pulling that apart to find some really amazing aspects of what it is to live here. We uh, came up with the phrase, a big little city, but that's why we love it here, because it's small, yet it's large as well. There's a large potential for our community. I think there's a really strong sense of pride and being happy and proud of where we are and supporting that to be even better into the future. Um, there's a lot of strengths that we do have and finding those and celebrating them to move everyone forward is really important. I think there's a good possibility and a strong potential that we can achieve really big things to make a stronger, better, vibrant city for people that are choosing to come or stay in Mount Gambier in 2035. I think the key thing that has, has stood out for the, the vision group was the, the sense of Mount Gambier being that connected hub, that connected services hub, um, and also the key theme of the natural beauty of our space and, and continuing to utilise that, that space. Um, also a, a, a key theme um, around the accessibility and potentially when we look towards the vision um, of what we want 20, Mount Gambier to look like in 2035, um, we, we, we acknowledge that perhaps not, not everything is, is quite accessible at this point, so the accessibility for all, um, be that if the barrier is um, physical abilities, be that if it's an economic um, barrier, so making sure that when we look forward to the future, that this is going to continue to be a space that is accessible for all um, moving forward. I think when I look forward to 2035, this is, you know, I want Mount Gambier to be a place where people continue to want to come, a uh, pe place that people are welcome, um, and also a place that, that young people um, uh, want to, to stay and grow and, and continue to raise their families here, um, and uh, to ensure that this is a place that uh, nurtures that, that future generation, you know, in the sense of providing um, things for them to do, but also in a sense of harbouring their, their skills and interests moving forward, um, be that with, with industry or with, with recreation. So we essentially, what's coming through the feedback and in the conversations we've been having is how do we ensure that we have good custodianship of our natural environment and create a livable city where people come, want to stay and are supported in their various endeavours, uh, where our young people can learn and earn and where um, people within industry have um, access to the infrastructure and support they need and that all aspects of our community, um, regardless of um, how you engage in community and what your personal um, story is, that you actually have the access to be able to get the support that you need to um, live a meaningful life. And um, diversity and culture has also been a big conversation. So we want everybody to see themselves in the plan and we want the plan and the strategies to be something that um, resonates with the range of voices and identities in our community. And so how do we ensure that everybody can see themselves in the vision moving forward? This is bringing the range of people to the table together. And so we can all have influence on where we go um, and hear the different perspectives and then be very considered in how we table that as one um, aspirational document for our council and our community.
Council's playing a facilitation role um, in pulling this piece of work together. Um, but the key purpose for bringing together our community panel is so that they can help shape the final product um, as representatives of our community. And from there, Council will then take that to then inform its own strategic plan for the next four years.